Twenty-nine-year-old Bolly Wakam is a renewable energy engineer. After graduating in Italy, Wakam is back in his hometown of Batufam, eager to transfer his skills. Today he's teaching a group of students how to purify water using solar panels. What we have here is an independent system that uses a battery charged by the sun, which then powers the panels. The advantage is that the solar energy does not pollute the environment. It's clean energy and it's renewable. According to the World Bank, nearly 600 million people in sub-Saharan Africa still lack access to electricity. Wakam's working to change that. So far, he's installed solar-powered streetlights, multimedia installations and a water purification plant in Batufam. I would, in three, four, five years' time, like to see the majority of Africans using this solar kit, especially in rural areas, because those are the areas most affected by the lack of electricity. Access to power has changed lives here. Businesses and schools are open for longer and people are learning how to use computers. We never used to have power at the library, but now the solar panels will enable many children to read until late at night and expose them to different cultures through the books they read. Analysts say Africa's energy sector needs investment of around $55 billion per year until 2030 to provide everyone with access to electricity. In the meantime, Wakam is sticking to his plan to turn his hometown into a technology hub. Maria Galang, CGTN.